Okay, hey, welcome aboard everybody, the SS Recovery. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. The thing I wanted to talk about today is these weird three principles that we live by. Patience, love, and tolerance. Woo! Those are freaking difficult. Like, you know, it's, it's not like, oh my God, I'm in recovery and everything is just great and I'm so patient with everyone. I'm so loving to all. I am so tolerant. Hey, it's not that. See, there's this thing that is primary. It's called courage. It takes courage to love the unlovable. It takes courage to be patient with the impatient. It takes courage to be tolerant with the intolerable. Courage is primary. Like, you know, when we go through life, sometimes that, you know, you're dealing with someone that is super impatient and just driving you freaking crazy. And then you want to just lash out at them and tell them, hey, check this out, you know? But that's not it. It takes courage. I'm gonna be patient. It takes courage. Someone is intolerable and just disturbing your serenity, disturbing every fiber of your freaking being. It takes courage. It's their journey. This is what they're going through. They're going through some, you know, that old thing that hurt people hurt people. And if you look deeply, the people that are the most, that try your patience the most, that are mostly intolerable, that are mostly unlovable, those people are hurting. They're going through something and they're just reflecting out on you. Patience, love, and tolerance isn't easy. It's a difficult thing to manifest. But the deal is also God, higher power, universe, your journey requires that you become more patient, that you become more loving, that you, be, that you become more tolerant. And in order to do that, you get delivered 10 assholes in your life that try all that stuff so that you can become stronger. Also, before you bite someone's head off, before you attack their character, think to yourself, how important is it really? How important is it compared to my emotional sobriety? How important is this one little tiny moment in my life? How important is it really? Here's something. You ever get disturbed? You see someone's actions, someone's behavior, someone's doing something really freaking stupid. And then all of a sudden you are getting this disturbance inside of you that you can't stand them but you don't even know them. You haven't even talked to them. You don't respect them or admire them. But we're filling ourselves up with all this negativity over the actions and behaviors of other people that we don't even freaking, that we don't even know. It's resentment. Resentment is a poison that we drink thinking it's gonna have an impact on other people. It doesn't work. You know what the most, the most important day of your life is? Today. Happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> Happy Saturday. It is the most important day of your life. It has to be because it's the only one we got. You want happiness? You want freedom? You want dignity? You want joy? We gotta stop filling ourselves up with this negativity over the actions and behaviors of other people. We have to learn, be a little bit more patient, demonstrate that courage to just stand there for a moment and recognize we're filling ourselves up with this negative stuff. It's actually we become victims of outside shit. Things happen out here and then we victimize ourselves full of negativity and fear and anger and hate. Pause for a minute. I need to be more patient in this moment. I need to be more loving in this moment. I need to be more tolerant in this moment. And how important is it really? We have something inside of us that always wants to be right. We want to be right, we want to be right, we want to be right. And then we want to tell other people 
about how wrong they are so that we can feel more right. <laughs> it's everyone's journey. Some people have to have some horrible journeys so that they learn something and it's truthfully, if you're deep, you will recognize that it's sad. So we just wanna be helpful the best we can. Be patient, be loving, be tolerant, and it is not easy. It takes a lot of courage to do that. But if you show me a person that doesn't want to develop courage, I will show you a coward and a failure. Courage is important. Courage is primary. Daily small moments of courage to get through this stuff. Have a wonderful, blessed, amazing day. Namaste, blessings of light and love. Today is the best day ever. Happy freaking Saturday. We'll see you next time. Thanks, you guys.